Hey, you guys. Yeah, we've got another one. Excellent. Who do I say that to? Really? Right. <laughs> Congratulations on the film. Thank you very um, much. What was it about this, this particular film that spoke to you when you first read the script? Because it was a page turner. I didn't know what was going to happen on the next page and I couldn't see it coming. I thought, this is great. And this is unusual with the script, you know. A lot of scripts are kind of bogus and whatever, and it doesn't make sense. You say, well, that doesn't matter. Well, but this one seemed to make to be good at make at not making sense, if you know what I mean. It was a real. You really didn't know where you were and who was who and who was doing what to who, and it was believable. And I thought, well, if I can transfer that onto film, you know, those kinds of films where it can actually engage an audience, and they truly don't quite know where they are, and yet they know they're not being cheated. They know I'm not just throwing great big fish at them or something like that, you know. It's the wrong metaphor, but you know. <laughs> but as long as they don't you know, feel cheated by it. I wanted every moment of it to be credible in a way. You know? It has a great feel to it. How was it shooting in the streets of London? Because you're pretty much all over the place. I didn't well. shoot in London. Oh, you didn't? Well, it's so fascinating. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I did six days in London. Okay. The rest was shot in Prague, I'm sorry. Okay. And then people said to me, oh, we don't know you were doing film in London. I said, well, it wasn't. Yeah. It's pretty convincing. <laughs> but I had, a, I had a brilliant Czech art director who said, when you choose your kind of key, key locations in London, make them modern because I can do modern in Prague, but I can't do period English in Prague, because period Prague and period English is completely different. So I paid attention to that, and it did work out, and it's, it's hard to see the joins. Uh, you've worked with some amazing talent over the years yeah. in, your, in your career. I mean, you've got a great cast, and they're led by Rumi, yeah. who's fantastic in the yeah. movie. What was it like having her as the lead? Well, it's, it's great, because she had to be committed to it, and she knew she had to deliver all the stuff. You know, she had to deliver the emotional stuff, and she had to do the physical stuff, which she thoroughly enjoys, which is a bit alarming. But um, no, I mean, she's one of the few people in the world that could have done that, because there are obviously people who can do great stunts and all that, but not you know, play, play a kind of emotional role. And vice versa, there's girls who could do the emotion, but you wouldn't believe were doing the physical. So, you know, that was, you know, that was crucial that we got her to do it. And she, she read it, she was on it before I was. And so, you know, I knew that she was, I, unless I really annoyed her when I met her, or was horrible to her or something like that, I knew I had her in my hands, you know, as long as she and I got on, which we did immediately. So that was good. I just want to ask quickly, obviously uh, a few years ago you made a, a James Bond movie, World Is Not Enough. Yeah. Uh, obviously the Bonds have changed. Do you still keep up with the Bonds? And oh, yeah. is, there, is there a way that you'd, you'd potentially go back and direct one if they, well, if they gave you a call? Highly unlikely, <laughs> but if they did, I'd be delighted. Yes, I enjoyed it. And it's, they're nice people. <clears throat> you know, it's, it's well organised and they're, <clears throat> you know, it's a happy time, although you're doing strange stuff. I enjoyed it, so yes. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy your evening. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!